He goes by the name Friday the 13th Ahunanya and he hopes he's going to be unlucky for David Tour. As the showdown looms between Friday and the Tour man, and remember both boxers have knocked out Shane Cameron, inevitably the trash talking begins. But when Michael Holland got inside Friday's camp in Las Vegas, there was trash talking aplenty, but not from the big man. I'm gonna get it and we gonna get it and you gonna feel it and you gonna get it. Thank you for the tour man giving me this, you know, opportunity. I'm gonna get it and we gonna get it and you gonna feel it and you gonna get it. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing him in the ring. Surprisingly soft words from one who makes his livelihood in such a brutish way. I take nothing away from him. I just feel honoured. Not quite so subdued. I believe 100% my trash. The man behind the man, the much smaller man, with an elastic mouth that suggests he's the one going glove to glove with David Tua. David's worried. David, you worry? You worry, David, right? He's worried. Of course. Want to? And why stop there? We're there to win. We're not going there to get knocked out. And if you think that you're going to knock him out, forget about it. You're dreaming. No chance. But regardless of their verbal sparring styles, there's no denying their cohesion as a team, sweating it out for more than a decade, just a short drive from the famous Las Vegas Strip. Oh, this guy is my best buddy, man. We've had our ups and downs, of, you know, just like, you know, daddy and son have their ups and downs, but, you know, one way or the other, we're still together. The winner of this fight is going to be the best fighter and, and the trainer is going to be the best trainer. So I mean, I'm going to become the best trainer on the 31st. Bend your knees, like picking them up. Right up again. Again. Bend your knee. Good. Again. Keep going, keep it going. His right hand is perfect, left hook is good. You know, his movement, his footwork is good. Balance is great. And power is devastating. Good power. I know his punch is his left hook. If I can take that away from him, it's going to be a long night for him. Come on, between you and me, how do you mm. take his left hook out of the game? Between you and me, you're going to have to shut the camera for a sec. What about that left? The left what? Hook. Who? Cool, what hook? David Hook? He got no hook. He got no left hook. That happened 15 years ago. Throw, David, throw a left hook like this now. Ah, like that. Ah. And footage of two aspiring in Auckland last month brings on another predictably dismissive outburst. Honestly, he looks terrible. David Dua looks terrible. Who he's partnering with? Israel Garcia. Israel who? Who is Israel Garcia? And you gotta also stop eating too much, you know, still eating burger and everything. So he gotta get his weight down and his speed up because like that. He's not just gonna be fried and he's going nowhere, you know. Sorry. Put aside all the talk, be it trash or genuine, there are some in this town who believe a tour knockout of Friday the 13th on Wednesday the 31st could put him firmly back on the road to the Vegas big time, back to where his world heavyweight dream was shattered by Lennox Lewis, those nine and a half long years ago. David is a, is a heck of a puncher, and I think that uh, the punching power is going to take toll on his opponent. Richard Steele's refereed more world heavyweight bouts than anyone else in history. Mike Tyson's eyes is destruction. He always want to, you know, kill the other guy. And reckons Ahunanya's only option is to take Tua deep into the bout. He has a chance if he can stay in the fight, you know, seventh, eighth round. David Tua needs to, if he's going to make a statement, he needs to walk across the ring and batter Friday into the ground. That's what he needs to do. The winner of this fight is going to have a lot of possibility to do bigger fight, title fight, and bigger money. A lot of exercises, good food, no women's, no women's. What about just one woman? That's all right. For me? Not bad. No. After the fight. Feeling great. <laughs> You're ready. Yeah, you can see. I'm ready to roll, man. <coughs> if things don't go your way, mm -hmm. will you come on our program the next night and eat some humble pie? Sure, I will. 
I'm coming here to make the impossible possible. Never a humble pie before. It's not impersonal, it's just business. And you know, I'm coming here to make history. What are they made out of the humble pie? <laughs> They're made out of the deflation of your ego. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm coming, bro. You know, I'm coming. You see me in the studio the day after the fight to see David eating humble pie. I and David too, one on one in the square. There's no turning back. Yeah. Oh, you don't need